Hell hath no fury like a Taylor Swift scorned. As One Direction took the stage, T-Swizzle turned to her BFF, Selena Gomez, who she was sitting next to her, and seriously dissed her ex-boyfriend, Harry Styles. And thanks to the wonders of TV, we can slow it down and see that she basically says, shut the F up. There you have it. Not so nice, Taylor Swift. What do you think, Kia? I, uh, you know, this is something I tweeted last night, which, uh, you know, got retweeted across the web, which is that Taylor Swift is the person who basically told Vanity Fair that she thinks Tina Fey and Amy Poehler are going to hell because they made a joke about her when they hosted the Golden Globe. So Taylor is also somebody who generally plays it pretty positive in her perception, and she sort of plays this America's sweetheart role on stage and stuff. But there are time and time again these moments where she sort of basically just comes out and does something that if it was done by anyone else would be considered pretty mean. I mean, imagine if Kanye West had been caught saying shut the F up to Taylor when Taylor Swift was on stage. That would be front page news. Everyone would be calling him a monster. I think that, you know, people, there's just a difference, unfortunately, in the way that we American culture generally perceives certain performers. And it's uh, to me, it was a little refreshing to see that people finally noticed that she's not necessarily, you know, the nicest uh, person around the block. She also said when she accepted an award for the song, I Knew You Were Trouble, or for the video rather, that she's grateful to the person who gave her the bad experiences that she could write about them and get this award. That was my favorite thing because they they cut to Harry Styles there and he just totally rolled his eyes. Which is yeah, amazing. Never, come on, I, doesn't this all doesn't this all just seem set up though? This is part of Taylor Swift's personality. This is part of how she's known as writing all these lyrics about all these ex-boyfriends. For her to go up on stage and say that, it just seems part of the marketing plan for the ta- ta- the Taylor Swift image. Exactly. I think nothing could be uh, less surprising. But I do just think that at some point, you know, it, it's it's good that people are going to wake up and say that this isn't really the most positive thing. I'm not sure if this is necessary. You know, she's seen as somebody who's like a really great role model, and she's definitely an incredibly talented musician, singer, and songwriter. But um, on some at some point, you have to be like, well, this person has sort of made her later or most recent parts of her career on the strength of her ability to call people out whether or not they deserve it. 